Hello everyone, welcome back to another unboxing video. As you can see, this month is Japan Crate. So, let's just start it with this one. Let's get it fixed here so you can see it better. The March Box! Here's the interior index and the photo contest. Here are the contents. Uh, the problem is it's a little blurry. I think it's because I I don't have auto autofocus on because I don't I don't like it keep constantly wavering in and out when I'm doing something. So I apologize for that. Uma Uma Common Uma Umakaman Umakaman probably Umakaman. The March in Japan. The Segoy Crate. And that's it for the book. Not very thick today, this time. I'm going to start with the drink. <clears throat> since it's cool at the moment. It looks pretty good. We have this here. Uh, if I can get it so you can see the... It's hard to... Get the right light on that. There we go. This is the Calpis White Peach Drink. March is the season peach blossoms bloom. What better way to celebrate than by drinking refreshing white peach flavored Calpis? Calpis is a popular drink in Japan that comes in a variety of flavors. And this month is sweet peach. Got the, I'll show you different sides of the bottle there. There's a creature in the cat. Oh, just <laughs> Ooh, wow. Really strong peach. Smells good. Actually, it smells just like a fresh peach. Wow. That is just like a, a fresh peach. That is really good. I would love to have a big bottle of this all the time. Man, I'm surprised they don't they don't sell these over here. This is good. Really good. <clears throat> and there's the box. Let's see if I can get this thing to stay open on me. The first thing we have is some new Cheetos. Hold them up here. These are the Cheetos Kyushu Soy Sauce. Well, pretty obvious. I don't need to read the description. Right, it's soy sauce. <laughs> uh, I was born to spread Cheetos to the world. Cheetos is awesome. Not are awesome, but is awesome. Yum, yum. <laughs> you can say that centered there. <laughs> Smells like soy sauce. There you are there. Normal looking Cheetos. A little high salt content but the soy sauce flavor is not overpowering it's a little mild it could be a little bit stronger but it's quite good I like them a little too a little bit heavy on the salt <clears throat> now we have these guys here this is the Umakaman mayonnaise. The umami. All right. Umami. U M M U M A M I. I guess I'm saying that right. Flavor of Japan of Japanese mayonnaise is popular among Japanese snacks. It's a unique taste is definitely worth a try, and it's fun to taste test with friends. So what do we got? Definitely smells a little like a um, a sweet mayonnaise, I guess. Hmm. I mean, they're they're like cheese puffs, basically. Hmm. 
Such an interesting flavor. They, um, they're just like a cheese puff, but it's hard to get the flavor. They, as soon as you put them in your mouth and crunch down, they dissolve so fast, it's hard to get anything out of them. But there is a, a mild, I would say a very mild mayonnaise flavor. It, it does have some like, I don't know if you can see them, some ch little flecks of chives on them. It's a good flavor. I like it. It's, it's almost cheesy in a way, almost like a like a really soft cheese. I don't know. It's hard to describe. Really detailed I want. These look good. Bunchy rice snack. These fried senbei snacks are a popular Osakan treat. Their crispy texture and flavor of sweet soy sauce combine to make a wonderful treat perfect for sharing at picnics and parties or anywhere else. It doesn't have to be at picnics and parties. Oh, it's got a cool little back here. Interesting pictures there. Crisp and fresh Japanese soy sauce flavor made from quality rice. Well, you'd hope so. <laughs> yeah, they look like your normal little uh, rice rice ones. You can actually get big bags of these at the local Japanese stores here in the nearby. Yeah. Good flavor. I wouldn't say it's soy sauce much. I mean, there is a, a mild taste of that. I don't know. It tastes more like a rice puff, but crunchy, as you can hear me when I was crunching down on it. But they're they're quite tough, so I'm not gonna, I'll save the rest for later. But they're 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 not unusual. I mean, I I, I can get them around here easily. Let's go for the big bag here. <clears throat> this is what I think is ooh my favorite. <laughs> In a big bag. Last time we got these, it was a it was small. This is big. Look how big that bag is. That's cool. It's the uh, the country ma'am chocolate chip cookies. If you've seen these in previous videos, there's the the back of it. Even has a, a QR code there with a smiley face. <laughs> I love these. I mean, I really love these. But it's so I'm so glad. Thank you, Japan Crate, for putting a big bag of these in here this time. I mean, the last time we had them, you only had like five of these little cookies in a bag, so you you don't really get enough. But, that, but having a big bag, mm. scrum delicious. Yeah, little chocolate cookies. Mm. Oh. You don't know why. <laughs> you can see the big chips. They're very good. Okay. Moving on. <clears throat> this looks familiar. Hmm. We've. I think we've had something similar. Let me get a better grip on this thing. I don't want to cut the imaging off here. This is the, uh, it's a do-it-yourself kit. The Yoyasan Soft Candy Do-It-Yourself Kit. A candy-making kit is a perfect activity for having fun with friends. Place the different colored candies in molds shaped like vegetables and fruits to make adorable candy snacks. See in the back back there. The instructions. It's basically Play-Doh with candy. <clears throat> see what we got in here. I can get it out of the bag. It's wanting to be a pain. But here's the it's very similar to the the candy I showed you last time. 
which I kept it thinking it was chocolate all the time in my video. But uh, there's the... We actually have had these before. I remember this. You pop this out and you make a little stand, as you can see on the back side there. And you put a, you make it look like there's little fruit fruits and stuff on it. But you get three different really flavorful uh, chewy candy. And they melt in your mouth, not in your hand. <laughs> and you just combine those together to uh, create your different flavor, different vegetables in there. And as you can see, you can make your uh, carrot and grapes and broccoli and bananas and what whatnot. It's a cute little thing. It's just easier to eat the candy than try to push it into a mold. <laughs> I think this was in Tokyo Treat. Yeah, it was. It was uh, it was in the Tokyo Treat crate. We got some more of these delectable things. The little uh, pastries. With the umabu. What was it? Umabu. These are the uh, matcha. I think of Umabu. Well, we do have an Umabu sticking. That's probably what I was stuck in my head. But uh, these are the, the good ones. You know, pop it open. Don't really need the, the whole box here, but... Pop one out and show you again. The little flavorful biscuits here. Normally... Mmm. Yeah, they're good. Excuse me. Normally the um, they're chocolate, but those are the matcha flavoring. Wow. Okay. Oh, we got another one of these. It's a little uh, strawberry flavored marshmallow. You can see. And another one. Are you colluding with Tokyo Treat? <laughs> Because both you and Tokyo Tree both had the same thing. It's that, uh, you know, candy ring. That's a little strange. <laughs> now, what is this? A lemon. Melon, I mean. Hmm. A little uh, melon pandoro. This is a, the classic panda-shaped cookies are here in a new melon flavor. Hmm. Okay. Got a little tic tac toe thing in the back there. Let's see what they do. Oh, it is. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty cute. Little panda face there. Let's bite his ear off. <laughs> no! Hmm. It does taste like melon. That's interesting. Hmm. Almost like maybe like a. A mild melon, lemon, in a, lim, a lime in a way. Not, not really. It's not overpowering at all. It's more like it's not a sugar cookie. I'm like a Manila wafer with a melon, a very mild melon flavor mixed into it. That's quite good. I like that idea. Now we have it looks like rice. Got these little guy here. This is, oh, it's the bonus snack. At least this time you gave a description. The sambishi is an actual dish that combines stir-fried noodles and rice. This snack is perfect for when you go on the go and also adds a crispiness you can't find in the original. Puffed rice and fried noodles are especially great for those with savory snack lovers. For those who are savory snack lovers. here and get some out I could show you oh it is puffed rice interesting oh and they are noodles let's see if I can show it to you there looks like maggots and noodles hmm <laughs> hmm that's an interesting flavor slight soy sauce a little, a little bit of a tang. Hmm. What? 
That's really, it's quite flavorful as soon as it hits your taste buds. But uh, I'm trying to give a description. Of... I've tasted this on an Omabo stick before. Hmm. It's on, the, it's on my fingers. I'm trying to get the taste. A slight tangy, not, not in a bad way, slight tangy with a background of soy sauce, a little bit of a sugar hit, not candy-wise. It's like a type of sugar, sugary in a way that's when you cook it in something. Uh, that's, that's really good. I like it. I wouldn't mind having a, a real dish of that, you know, and an actual, not the candy version, but. Now we have something tiny here. This little guy here. This is the Awadama Grape. If you're a fan of soda and candy, then these are made for you. These grape soda flavored candy fizzies. Oh, okay, it's a candy fizzy. Feels like a ball. So let's see. Yeah, it is. We've had these before. But in bigger bags. This is like a big, a big one. Normally, when we get them in the past, or you get a good sized bag of them. Bun bun! We have a bon o bon, but not instead of a bon bon. A bon o bon, creamy cream. We got together. Oh, we go together like peanut butter and chocolate. These milk chocolate bon bons are filled with a creamy peanut butter center. And a layer of wafer cookie. Ooh. That sounds really good. If I can get it to open. Where's the seam? There it is. <clears throat> I'm surprised it's just wrapped straight in this. A lot of times they'll wrap this around it, but the inside it'll have something around the bonbon or chocolate or whatever. As you can see there, that's how big it is. Hmm. There's a way for cooking. Hmm. So, that's what the interior looks like. That's quite good. It would be nice to have a bar, a long, a good long bar of that. The last two things, we have another Umabu stick. This one is a uh, mayonnaise flavor. <clears throat> if you haven't seen one in a while, I'll show it to you again. They're like a giant Cheeto. This one is a little iffy. It looks like it might be slightly cracked. Put that down. That's what it looks like. I'll take a bite. Mm -hmm. A little messy. It does taste a little like a light mayonnaise. It's cracked, slightly cracked up, that's why. It's cracked up. <laughs> I found the box treatment so funny, it cracked up. And lastly, we have this giant stick. This is Japan's number one longest chocolate. This unique chocolate snack is both yummy and impressive. The long, satisfying, crispy corn puff is covered in a delicious milk chocolate and peanuts. Oh, that's what that, I'm feeling. Interesting. But it's like a giant umabo stick. You know, the chocolate ones, which are really good. That's basically what this is, but it's by, made by Riska. Oh, they just made it too. It's new. <laughs> it expires on October 2017. I'm not kidding. <clears throat> yeah, it looks exactly like, you know, the dark chocolate umabu. Hmm. Tastes like it, too. It's really good. You can see the crispy, the puffed corn or uh, rice. It's probably rice centering. Excellent. Really good. 
I like the different artwork on it in there. You see, there's a woman at the top there looking down at this guy, and then there's a little guy at the bottom. So that's it. That's all I got for the crate. No little, uh, I'm surprised we didn't get any Dugashi things in here, little keychain things. My favorite has always been the, the little Totoro. <laughs> and then they got, I don't, these are not from uh, Japan Crate, though. I think they were all from Tokyo Treat, probably. Some of them are. So those are cool. And then my, in the past, my favorite was this little, this is supposed to have been a keychain. Can you imagine using that as a keychain? It's a cool little uh, plastic fish. That's it for now. I will see you in the next unboxing, and I hope you enjoyed. Take care.